here they come. Well, the shot in the hunt for a bit of consistency. For our three witnesses, the defeat has followed. Rochdale in search of three straight wins. And this is the best attack against the best defense coming into the weekend. Well, the shot orange changed from that roller coaster win against Maidenhead last weekend. 4 3, and James Henry is scorer again. His fifth goal in six National League games. But it's not just him with Hadi Gabdor as well. He scored his third goal last time out. So we're underway, battle of two teams. Side shoulder, and this is the job that he's going to have to get on with tracking back. It's Corbett, will do well to uh, keep it in play. He has I've had a bit of rain here today. Corbett, that's Witterington, and uh, cross is played in. It's Eddie Clear, but it's straight back by Cam Hargreaves, and there's no problems for David Robson. He gets his first touch of the football as a, a Rochdale player in goal. They've got the personnel. Well, is this to be Rochdale's opening moment? No, because Stuart says no. He's got to do better for me there. Has to. The player of Cairo Mitchell's quality has to do better with that. Henry's on his way, but the uh, flag has gone up anyway. I see moments of both ends. This is the way the game's going. Like I said, it's a one-for-one -one duel. If you don't get your start positions right on anything in terms of out of possession, you're seeing this instance. It's one ball back to front from Robson, and McComb has got himself in all sorts of issues. Yeah. Berger, is that for good? Is that for East? We can get it back again. Gordon now. And Devail Rowling. Berger in support. Gordon wants it, gets it now. This is nicely done from Rochdale. Fired across, an awkward one for goalkeeper and defender. The shot can only clear it as far as Gordon again. And a bell rowling. Oh, it's a delicious one in, and it is in. Cairo Mitchell right there. And it's Rochdale who hit the front early. A delicious cross, just asking to be finished. I think that's his fourth delivery of the afternoon already in 13 minutes. I know that he's got the stat of crossing the most balls into the box in the division. He has the most touches in the opposition half. And we spoke about how the impact he's going to have down this right-hand channel. That's a lovely, lovely ball. Ky Kyra Mitchell's done brilliant to play on the back of the shoulder of Magoma. Blind side of him, he can't see him. And that's a really nice finish. the end of this and he can cut it back Corbett oh, half the ground thought he was in Alaraki causing his own problems there you look at Jim McNulty he's not happy for what I can see on the side of the pitch and he goes and just offers up a pass to Henry and when you get people in this area it's not good enough it's a great little dummy from Gandor he has to hit the target it up. and referee James Durkin hasn't seen it Perkett and a better rolling and Berger's on his way. And he can rip it in as well. Look for for Rodney. Big chance not taken at one end. And Rodney takes his chance at the other for Rochdale, who are loving it here. Two now. Witteritten's point with fingers. For me, Witteritten doesn't trap Berger. Doesn't trap Berger on initial run. Allows him to run into the box unopposed. And then they're going to deliver a great bit of quality again. Yes, a little bit of luck. A little bit of luck in the ricochet, but Devante Rodney does brilliant. Watch this in this picture. Berger plays, he's in the line of Woodrin and he's pointing, doesn't track him. It allows Berger to go and cross the ball unopposed. Yes, the ricochet helps Devante Rodney. Great communication between him and Cairo Mitchell gets his finish off. I believe if I'm all the shot now, we need to readjust or they need to readjust the way they're pressing on that defensive line or that goal kick. Akpan on the chase and we'll get there. It up nicely for Henry. Henry delivers it. Corbett awaits. Here he is, brings it down. Corbett. Is there an angle maybe to have a shot at goal himself? Crowded out. So oh, he will get the free kick. He will get the free kick. I think you were too convinced by that. If you got a Cocom's cam at the minute, I'm, <laughs> I'm a little bit animated. I, again, I'll have a look at it again. I'll get a second opportunity, but. 
Really? That's not that's not a foul in my opinion. Sounds easy. As easy as that, yeah. <laughs> Bishop anticipation around the place. This is so Henry's taking it on himself. It is Henry! Oh, that close, that close. Here he is once more. But for the frame of the goal. And Henry's denied what would have been his sixth of the campaign. Fully sold me. I genuinely felt that Henry was going to slide it. Great technique. Great technique. Used all the pace. Didn't try and get it up and under. Wrapped it from in to out. And then I have to say the rebound's nearly just as clean. Little punt volley back to hit Corbett in one. It hasn't come off, but that's the decisions of good players. Easton Gilmore have got that right. That minute all the shot happened. Mitchell just staying down. It's uh, Henry's effort. Throw the shot. It's it's uh, home games coming up for Rochdale back to back against Maidenhead and Solihull Moors. And that time now. Can he find the delivery? Yes, he can. That's Gordon. Barrett keeps hold of it well. Finding out pun again. Barrett again. Plays it in brilliantly. It's in, but the flag is up. It's a super cross. But the flag went up very, very quickly to end any such celebration. That's where you want him. You want him in that second 18 yard box. He possesses great quality, great ball. I believe he's off. Great finish from Barham there. Great finish. So close to marching up the league even further. A statement win from the tail. Three points away from home. Yet another clean sheet.